Hi all, this is Santec Ball, and today we are going to run XDM or Extreme Download Manager. For those of you who don't know what a download manager is, a download manager is a application that helps us to download the files from the internet using the source link uh, of any files like ISOs, uh, EX files, video files, audio files, etc. It increases your download speed, that is, you get a much higher download speed than your browser. Without further ado, let's get Extreme Download Manager in our PC. So, open up your browser, type Extreme Download Manager or just XDM. Click on the first link. Okay, go to download section. I'm going to install it from Microsoft Store since I'm using Windows. You can uh, download an installer for Linux, Mac, or any other if you're using any other system. I'm using Windows, and if you're using Windows 7 or 8, you can install it by MSI installer. Or if you're using Windows 10 or 11, uh, you can install it from Microsoft Store. So I'm going to open my Microsoft Store and I XDM. Open it. Click install. Wait for it to finish. There has been some. I don't know in downloading it, I think, from the Microsoft Store. I think I'll download it from MSI Installer. Click on it. Click on XDM Setup 8.0.29.msi. Wait for it to finish. Open it. Click next. Click on I accept the terms and license agreement. Click next. Click next. Click install. Click yes. Okay. Click finish. There you will have it. Okay. Click save. So this is the interface of the Extreme Download Manager. So wait. So if you need to download anything, click on New. Select New Download. If you need to download any video, select Video Download. I'm going to download and file. I'm going to click it. We have to fill the address of the source where we get the file from. So on the browser type on which file you want to download uh, I'm going to download Ubuntu click on download click download Ubuntu click download 22.0. 4.3 wait for it so you can see the speed of the download in the browser it's about 2 to 3 mp so how you are going to do is click copy right click and click copy download link going to paste it here okay then select download now and wait for it to download as you can see its average speed is about 2 and 3 so let's close it here and open it now you see 
it's about 3 4 MB so wait for it to download its speed is much higher than what we will get from a browser so you can see it's 3 4 it's changing but you can see it you should not set any speed limit otherwise you will not get any so higher speed you can even pause it and download it later or stop it if you need not uh, don't need it I can pause it and resume it anytime can shut on my PC and after that I can stop uh, you know I can resume the download I'm going to resume it now and a uh, few seconds are left to finish the downloads okay after the downloading it starts assembly don't worry it won't take any long yeah it's finished so going to open it as you can see it's downloaded it's pretty simple you know it's also fast that's maybe kids uh, it's one of its advantages uh, other than browser downloads can download the video uh, but it's mostly just downloading a simple video close it okay then we have a few settings here we can mess with but I usually don't mess with these uh, you don't need it to do it function properly if you are a pro you could check on this one okay okay that's it for today guys like share and subscribe